Welcome to Abhipedia Mains 2016 question and answer discussion. The question is, what is uni Unified Payments Interface System? How is it different from the prevailing funds transfer systems? Discuss its potential to change the payments landscape in India with special reference to financial inclusion. Hmm. So could you uh, throw light on what is uh, this Unified Payments Interface System? Sir, I guess uh, aajkal mobile penetration is very much. So we say that in India it's more than like you know, 100 crore के आसपास mobile subscribers होने वाले हैं, है ना? तो अब ये smartphone based payment settlement system है। पहले तो हम bank जाया करते थे payment settlement के लिए, या हमें अपने online accounts access करने पड़ते थे। अभी इसमें ऐसा कुछ नहीं करना पड़ेगा। Here you can use two sets of smartphone, you have it, I have it, and I can just transfer the money using utilizing a VPN system. Here in uh, I don't have to disclose any sensitive information related to my own bank account to you mm -hmm. and neither do you need to have any account number with me. I'll just need your VPN and I'll transfer through VPN. It's like that. It's that easy. You mean to say that you need just a virtual address? You yes, don't need my IFSC code or the account no, no, number? No, nothing is necessary. Just the virtual address is required. Mm -hmm. But although there is a little thing that uh, the transaction limit for one transaction is one lakh rupees. Right. So, and since it's a gateway system, mm. if you have multiple bank accounts, mm. you can uh, enlist them on the UPI interface. See here, in if for example those bank accounts are within one bank, let's say ICICI, so there in throughout all the banks you can choose from which account you want to right. do the UPI. That choice is there. Which means different accounts in different banks can all be listed. On not, that UPI. not all together, but one bank will provide you that gateway solution because this is not a third party system. Herein, your bank is giving you the complete solution for transfer of payments. For example, in Paytm, Paytm is a third party system. Mm -hmm. You transfer from your account to Paytm and then you utilize it. Mm -hmm. Herein, it is, for example, you have three accounts within ICICI. Mm -hmm. You can choose which one to be used mm -hmm. for UPI and you can do the payments from there. So, sir, how is it different from uh, the prevailing fund transfer system? The prevailing fund transfer systems are usually third party based. Mm -hmm. You know, For example, we use Build Desk, mm -hmm. we use Paytm, we use so many other things. All are third party based, so therein some security issues are there. And also, one more thing, whenever you transfer your money from your account to the other third party account like Paytm, you don't get the saving interest rate. Mm -hmm. Herein the money is always in your account, you are getting the saving interest rate also. And whenever you pay, it is very facilitated, it's secure 100%, so that way it's very good. So I guess uh, that's it about in this question. They are talking about the discussing of its potential on the payment landscape in India. I guess uh, like we are moving towards a cashless economy, it will be helping in that cashless economy transition for the Indian. So because uh, always within Indians there is a trust system which is lagging you know, with respect to payment solutions coming in through the technology age. Because not many people are uh, technology savvy in India even today. So here in banks are trying to come up with new solutions so that the trust environment with respect to the ICT framework can be built. Especially after that uh, debit card, credit card, uh, you know, Scarry. security lapse which happened, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think that should do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.